Hello you guys. I'm gonna give you all the travel tips if you're hitting up Seattle, Washington. Okay you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oshits and I do all the things. I put out new videos every Wednesday. Make sure to like and subscribe. And today we're gonna do one of my favorite types of videos, a city guide, and that city is Seattle, Washington. Before I go places, I seriously spend a lot of time researching. I don't just go and go by the seat of my pants, but I really do do my research, so I do feel good giving out these recommendations. And if you have any others, feel free to leave them in the comments. You guys, I do have a Seattle vlog that a lot of this stuff will be into. If you wanna go back and watch those, I'll try to link it below or maybe Wes can put it here or at the end of the video. So we went there for the first time in April of 2019 and had a blast. While I can't say that I've been there many times and you know can give you all the tips, I can give you the, the first time tourist tips that you might enjoy. And I did double check my list here of things um, to make sure these places were still open. Okay, so the first ones are food because I love food. I'm a foodie, oh my gosh, so basic. The very first one, is Crumble and Flake Bakery. This place, you guys, you have to walk a bit if you're staying like downtown or take a Uber, but it was like the best cinnamon roll I've ever had and just also like a unique cinnamon roll too. It was like croissant, flaky, and it's also a small bakery place. So like I would get there earlier rather than later because you don't want those good items to sell out, if that makes sense. Crumble and Flake Bakery, 10 out of 10. Okay, the next one is Elenos Greek Yogurt. There is one right by um, Pike Place Market and they basically sell Greek yogurt like it's ice cream. Like it's an ice cream shop basically, but it is so good. I actually don't really even like Greek yogurt, but they have different flavors and it is so good. So like it looks kind of touristy and I think it's like a chain um, and they sell it in grocery stores, but it's really good. So highly recommend that. And it's, you know, yogurt's kind of a healthy treat. Okay, so the next one, we went to Serious Pie and we actually went here for dinner. I love the pizza. I think my husband claimed um, it was partly due to the fact that we ate there at like nine o'clock after traveling all day. So we were just like so hungry, a little pricey, but I really liked it and I thought the vibe was good. It wasn't too touristy or anything, but I really liked it. So Serious Pie. The next one is Tempest Coffee, and this has coffee shop and donuts. We actually just got the donuts. It was kind of a fun, unique type of donut. I wouldn't say go out of your way to go to this place, but we actually got there like right at opening time and the donuts were hot and fresh and they were really good. But I just thought it was a fun little coffee slash donut place. So check it out if you're around it, but otherwise don't. It's not like a must, but I really did enjoy it. The next place we went to was the Dick's Drive-In. This is kind of like a regional chain, I would say. So very popular in like Seattle, Washington area, whatever. It wasn't anything fabulous, but again, it's kind of a classic, so you gotta you gotta go. I think I really like the milkshake though. Like the milkshake was very good. We got like the burger fries milkshake. I do remember that. Okay, so the next one is Seattle Coffee Works. Um, we just got coffee here the first morning. It's like right by the public market. It wasn't anything special, but um, it wasn't terrible. And it, yeah, it's right by that market. So it's a good place to grab coffee. And then the original Starbucks, of course, is the next one. Get there early though, so there's no line. And there won't be a line there if you go there early. Again, we didn't get any coffee there. I really didn't feel the need, but it was just fun to see. You know, if you're hardcore, go in and get some coffee. But for me, I, I mean, I drink Starbucks, but it's not like I have to have it. But if it is, go get it, but go get there early. The next one is Proshki Proshki. And this is like a famous Russian bakery right by the market as well. Wes really enjoyed it. Me, not so much. I'm trying to remember like the pastries, just, they, they were good, but they weren't. And they had savory items too, but it's very popular too. And I think there's sometimes ends up being a line there. I don't know, it was like good. The next one, Beecher's, and that's the like cheese shop, and their mac and cheese is like super famous, like Oprah loves it. It's worth a try, but honestly, it wasn't anything life-changing. But it's fun to try, might as well. Okay, Victrola Coffee was another one we went to. You guys, we ate so much, and like I said, we were there for like three days. Victrola Coffee was kind of a bougie coffee place. Some of the coffee shops are like a little more hipster vibes. This one is definitely like a bougie corporate. I think it was even in like a skyscraper building. It was good, but I'm kind of bad at rating coffee. And again, I don't know. I don't like like the bougie ones. And I feel like you know what I'm talking about, but worth a try. Top Pot Donut is a popular donut shop. Nothing special, but it's a good donut, you know, had to check it out. We also went to Ivers, which is a touristy seafood place that they're kind of all over Seattle. They all kind of have different names though. It was good for the price, I feel like. We just stopped at one that was like along the, the waterfront and got like fish and chips and it was a good, good meal. Next we went to Salt and Straw, which was um, ice cream. It's like a West Coast chain or brand. 
very pricey but very good and they had like unique flavors which was fun as well okay so now for fun some of the fun activities and just like stuff we did the gum wall love that gotta go there um, okay, now I'll tell you where we stayed. We stayed at actually two places. We stayed at the Grand Sheraton and the Westin. Grand Sheraton for one night, Westin for two nights, both in good locations. Um, the Grand Sheraton was a little closer to the market and the Westin was a little further down, but still very close, like literally within two or three blocks of each other. Both good hotels, good location downtown, so I would recommend either of those, honestly. I really enjoy being downtown when I go places, and Seattle's a pretty good walking downtown, I would say. So I would splurge to stay downtown in Seattle. Some places you don't have to, or you could probably get an Airbnb or such. I went to the Nordstrom, which Nordstrom was founded in Seattle. So like I had to do it, like nothing special, but I had to do it. We walked by the Amazon spheres. We didn't really go in them. We just walked by them. I think you can go in them though, but they were cool. Um, my favorite thing was going to the Amazon Go store. And this was so fun. You have to go there and buy something. It's just like a grocery store. So you can literally buy a bottle of water, but you, or you have your Amazon app, you walk walk in and then you grab whatever you want and you walk out. You guys, it is insane. So highly recommend that, so fun. It feels like you're stealing it, but you're not. It's so weird, but it's so fun. We went and saw the troll under the bridge, kind of out of the way, we took an Uber there, but cool. And then we kind of walked around that area. We went to Gasworks Park. It was kind of a rainy day when we went, but it is really cool. You can see it from other places. I just recommend at least seeing it from somewhere. We did go to the top of the Space Needle, which I remember thinking, I don't want to do this. That type of stuff's a little touristy, but it was actually really cool. A little pricey, but really cool. Um, and then right by that, which you, I think you can get like a package deal for it, we went to the Chihuly Museum and Garden, and I love this. Chihuly art is amazing. And we had just been, like six months prior to that, we had just been to Murano, Italy, and it's very comparable, the Murano glass and the Chihuly art. So very cool. And um, just gave a new appreciation to it, but it's a very cool museum. <laughs> okay, and the last thing we did was we went to Bainbridge Island. I wanted to get on the water. When I'm near water, I wanna get on the water, do it. And so we actually took the ferry, which is a pretty um, good option. It's pretty cheap and reasonable. And it was, Bainbridge Island itself was very cool. It gave me like Alaska vibes. We didn't do much there. It was a little late in the afternoon, I feel like. Um, probably better to do kind of all day because I feel like stuff was like closing. But we just, we got on the ferry, went over there, stopped at a grocery store, grabbed some food and kind of sat along the water and then got back on the ferry. It was a fun experience though because like cars get on the ferry. It's, it's a cool experience, so highly recommend that. That is everything we did. I think you could probably tell what some of my favorites were. Um, I hope you are able to check some of these out. Let me know if there's more. I wanna go back. Seattle was awesome, we really loved it. There's just so much to explore, you know? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.